going on YouTube? Christopher Boat here. Doing another fish video. Do a little update on the bamboo and pothos out in the garage. It's got some big stems to it. Some shoots. This is the Fentosa tank where he wastes. It goes in the filter using certain products like potassium vitamins and excel so we're using that plant food on that there so uh... bamboo's got sometimes more shoots I'm really thinking about uh... cutting the stems off and growing more bamboo I'll triple them out put this over here it's got some holes but with the potassium will help redid the filter pads and uh, put new carbon in. So it's jolly. And we got the bamboo over here. More pothos going along the bamboo. Something new I did. It's got some. This is one of the big pothos plants. It's got some big leaves on it. Looking good. Got no holes or nothing. Potassium doing its work. Now we're gonna go to the 90, mix South Americans and African a little bit. Get the blue or the blue and white marine land LED. Stands out the 48 inch. They're liking it. Get the oxygen in there. And then we're over at the 90, and it just got bigger. These are the big guys. They're just gorgeous. Some twirlies, some straight ones. Double shoots. And uh, the pothos is just going crazy. It's got a lot new more uh, sprouts coming from the roots, the rhizome. Just looking good. Now we're gonna go with the other filter. These are over on the front toast of tank. It's an Acreon and a Aquifer 110. All right, so this is the Aquion too. These are both Aquions. Get a little closer. Those are Marine Land. Cut the size by the mat Marine Land. There's a bunch of bamboo in there. They kind of like to be in the front so they don't get a lot of poo on them. Get some short guys in there. And uh, looking good. Done the pads too. This guy goes over here. There. Yeah, these bam these pothos. Got a nice vine one. From Lowe's. Real good one. Real healthy. All coming up now. Just did the lights, re rearranged the whole house and the lights, cleaned the lights, cleaned out all of them with vinegar and mixed water, got the job done. And then a week, a couple days for, before that, I cleaned all the aquarium glasses. They were disgusting with dust. So even if I didn't have the tops, all that dust would be in my aquarium. And uh, I think I'm going to put the newest in there. Let's get a front toast of tank, or the flower horn I mean. We'll walk through all the house. Now on this bamboo, most are uh, about six of them, or four, there's uh, shoots coming out. Shoots from the roots. So they're about four inches tall, they're just in the water right now. This pothos is good, being held up by that bamboo. Got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, ten, but more than ten. About thirteen bamboo. On this side and that side. This pothos is just amazing how it's coming out, standing up like a like a snake or something. Beautiful. Look at this guy. He's a big one. Like I said, I want to know if I can, if a good thing to germinate these, these shoots. 
And then over here, Biomat Morgan Limp Pad, five sheets. Not sheets, just cut to size for the Aqua Clear 110. And then we got some Pothos over here. Like I said, just put this light on. It hasn't been introduced to the tank yet. Had the 29 fluorescent tube on there. Cleaned every tank. Or, like I said, cleaned off all the tops. And uh, cleaned off all the lights, everything inside. Only ones I didn't do on the inside were the Coral Life. They had the covers on them, but on the T5 48 inch, I did clean the cover. It came off, so I cleaned it real good. Every light I cleaned, so it's shining bright, shining bright. Looked at some of my bulbs, and some are AK, a lot of them, and some of the fluorescent or Aquion 48 inch. And, uh,. The 17 or 18 inch was it AK? The Coral Life was Zoom Med. Coral Light was Zoom Med. But, uh, like I said, I want to put this Anubis in the. Oh, yeah, you guys haven't seen it with the sponge filters. Got one over there, too, in the Frontosa tank. And I took one out of the 90. Sun Sun running good, got the UV sterilizer. Freddy doing good, eating like a cow. Got some nice colors, getting big already, getting a nice big bum. I always wanted to show you guys this Anubis, it's just going nuts. Growing nuts. There's 14 Anubis in there. New shoots over here. A lot of new shoots. Uh, we're gonna go in the house now. We're in the garage. Can you mute it, Mom? Can you mute it? What? Can you mute it? Can you mute it? Can you mute it? Can you mute it? Can you Mute it, Mom. Press the mute button. <laughs> These are uh, peace lily. Just trimmed them up. These are from the long pothos. With these new leaves, with this peace lily, guys. Just absolutely amazing. Those are fresh too. Always are fresh. Got some sprouts coming up. New leaves too. I'm going to set up an Emperor 400 where the pads are in the back with uh, carbon under the plants and then a bio holster behind the plants. You got a bloom over here, a nice big one. Put the potassium in, get a little growth spurt. All these big peace lilies have nicks on them with new leaves coming up. Some of them have sprouted. Change the coral light off put it in the queen's tank we'll see that here in a minute but a uh, very nice slide this is AK or not AK 8000 K there we go and this is 8000 K so that'll go to the planes for sure but let's trim up the Amazon sword but that we're doing good put a bio sponge in here just get a little extra biochemical filtration now let's go to the new one Mom's a hoot. It's a very small house. I mean, it's not small, but we'll go to the Queen Lash. She's been a real bitch lately. Now you guys are gonna freak when you come to this thing. I put the T5s. Did a water change four or five week, days ago, not weeks. But uh, they're going nuts. Very active. Loving the live escape of rocks when they sleep at night. They're always on the rocks, side of the rocks, bottom of the rocks, just loving life. They've been on Aquamaster small pellet. They've been digging that, that's what I got in the mail. So we got that. Queen's liking the fluorescent tube T5, 8000K. We got six bulbs on there. We're going to look at the light in a second, guys. Just a little update on this. But, uh, three sponge filters in there now. Get a little more extra flow. Marine Land Maxi Jet, Marine Land Maxi Jet 400, same thing. 
Sun Sun Pria 4B, Fieldstone, Coral Rock. Uh, that's all that's in here. Big pine driftwood to keep everything structure. Goes all the way back there. It's over there. See it? Look. Fish are doing great. Queen, particularly in this tank, I feed her pieces of seaweed from my pick off and cut with my hand and just give it to her hand feeder. She loves it. She probably think I'm gonna give her some right now. Guys are very active, been feeding mice shrimp when I don't feed them as much, so they're clogged up. But the whole reason I'm doing this video is for these plants, do a little image on them. These guys get morning sunlight, about three, two hours of sunlight from the window, so gotta get a background on this. I gotta do more background run. See how much the aux okay, he he's fine. I'm going to say aquaman flow, if I can get it. There it is. Very good flow. Know that? Wait a minute. Ah, fuck it. So, for plants, we got peace lily. Um. Uh, well, I'm going to say in front of so. Um, pothos. Got a new sprout right here. Peace lily going to town. These are the little guys. Probably get some big guys soon. But uh, we got some dumb king, the last of the spike. And uh, got some big ones up here. Rip that off. Grows amazing. But uh, what you do with the peace lily, you let these brown stems die and they rot. But they're not like going to the water or anything or getting loose. You just pull them up. You gotta keep an eye on it, but it's not a big deal. And we got coral life, coral life, coral life. I took the LEDs off. Got the seven inch that I don't using right now. I gotta figure out a spot for it. Alright. Moving along to the next tank. Dirty in here. Probably dirty in my room too. Got new buckets. How about you? Alright, hopefully the queen doesn't like freight. She's a star. You guys are probably. She's very obnoxious right now. She doesn't like the camera. She wants to be fed. It's like the great white. Dun 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 dun. Just kidding. Have a little fun. Happy Easter, guys. Well, yesterday was Easter. Oh, yeah. She's hungry. Double dose potassium for the plants. Your little eyes of those. They'll do way better with this light. That's why I did it. Just put those love blue light. It's pothos, so there's a bunch in here. Tons of it. Grown well. Got great leaves. Keep the window open because well, I only kept the one open time, but recently. So they got their sun's worth even from there. I had the fluorescent tube. It's a aquarium light. I'm not sure if someone gave it to me, but put on the flower horn tank and that's yellow bulb. Um, great algae blooms that she grazes on. You hear that shit? Can show off, Queen? I know, you're not gonna show off. A little closer. The water's flowing through the pad, so that means there's not a big bio load yet. But we will have to keep an eye on it. Queen, splash for us. Splash for us, come on. Flash for okay, no, no leaks, no leaks. I keep an eye on it. Everything's top notch. Clean the class, clean every single light inside, except that I said this for life. Just a little look, a little closer look. That Christmas came early, looking good. All right, that does it, guys? Like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep you in tune for more updates so when I get more plants and just stuff the shit out of these filters. Alright guys, be safe out there. Christopher Vogt out. Peace!